Alright, what is up folks, this is Luxtruck9, bringing another video for Oberlin Smash about installing the new Slippy, which is version 2.1.1. Uh, and so, let's get started. And so the first thing you're going to need is the Slippy.gg link. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is a CD Romance link, which should be right here. I will link this in the description. You're going to want to download this at the bottom. Under the downloads, you're going to want to download version 1.02. Oh, uh, it's a 7z file. And so I would get that started soon because you'll need that file. Anyway, I have the two things we need downloaded. So we'll get started. So you would click download for Windows. Thankfully, in this folder, I downloaded the files from Slippy and I downloaded the ISO. So we're going to work with those today. Uh, so now you would also want to install controller drivers should you need to. I already have the controller drivers installed from using Sli uh, a previous version of Slippy, so I don't need to do that personally. Uh, anyway, let's open this back up. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to extract both of these. So now let's extract this Slippy. And I'm, by the way, I'm using WinRAR. You can find this via a quick Google. Make sure you know what bit system you're using so you know what version to download. Okay, so here we go. This is the folder that we've unzipped from Slippy. Now let's unzip the Super Smash Brothers Melee ISO. And this might take a little second. Uh, so in the meantime, you can open up your Slippy folder and inside will be another Slippy. You could copy and move this to your documents or whatever. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to open Dolphin. Let's take a look. Uh, Windows might ask you to protect your PC. You can run anyway. Uh, we are still going to have to wait on the extraction of this ISO. But in general, you'll be here. Uh, if you were configuring a controller, you'd configure it here. I'm using the GameCube adapter for Wii U. I'm going to quickly plug in my controller so I'm all ready to go. And you could add, and for additional ports, you'd add more controllers here. If you're using an Xbox controller or a USB controller, you would use standard controller and then configure. For GameCube adapter for Wii U, everything should be automatic for you and give you all the angles you need. Uh, if you were to change the path, you would go here to paths, and the ISO is now finished, so let us now add a path. So we would do desktop or uh, downloads where I have the ISO, and this is the folder the ISO is in. See how it's empty? So it must be in this folder. So we're going to select this folder, which means that, voila, we now have Super Smash Bros. Melee right here. So let's open it. And it's going to give us a login screen. We press A. It's going to open us up here to this slippy window. I'm going to enter my information. Um, by the way, you could click create account and then follow the steps. Either way, it should eventually lead you to right here uh, where you can download the file. So you click on this and it will download user.json. That's very important. Um, they changed the website. You used to have to, uh, or you could opt, you opt to donate when you think, and when you uh, sign up, you can make that zero if you don't have any money to pay or you don't really want to donate just yet. Um, anyway, so you take the user.json. I'm control seeing it. I'm going to go into my Slippy folder and you paste it right here. To give you a little demonstration of what happens, I'm going to open up Dolphin and have it. Oh, okay, let me have this. All right, now I'm going to paste it and look what happens. I am now signed in. So it's as simple as that. And then you would just go to unranked and then you could just play. You could go to direct and you could enter someone else's code right here. And yes, anyway, so that is how you set up Slippy version 2.1.1 on Windows 10. Thank you for watching.